What is something that is expensive, but only owned by poor people? As somebody who works at a gas station, Newport cigarettes, seriously, it's almost only ever poor people who buy them, and they're one of the most expensive cigarette brands we carry, edit, for those asking how I know they're poor, it's something you eventually pick up on after working at a gas station for a while, it's hard to describe, but it's subtle, it's usually their mannerisms. I remember I had an old Chevy truck that cost so much to maintain and keep fuel in that I couldn't afford to save for another car. I literally kept me broke until I eventually joined the military and could afford a different vehicle. Crappy cars are more expensive than you realize. A perpetually broken car. Lack of preventative care. Cheap shoes or cheap mattress leads to more expensive medical care. Lack of dental maintenance leads to expensive surgeries. That kind of thing. When you can't afford preventative medical care, it catches up to you. Leading to more expensive costs later. Shopping carts. Pre. Pay electricity meters. Bad credit. It is expensive to make someone comfortable enough to loan you money without them being certain you'll pay it back. It. Payday loans. Rent. To own. Spoiler. You never quite own it. Dental problems. Those impacted wisdom teeth are hella expensive. Single items of things that should be bought in bulk. Like single rolls of toilet paper. Barely scraping by paycheck to paycheck means buying bulk is sometimes impossible. The Lottery tickets. The Toyota on the street that speeds down the road sounding like a WW2 artillery strike. Cheap equipment of all sorts. Like dollar store items that really shouldn't be available in the dollar store. This is the boots theory of socioeconomic unfairness. The summary is based on boots. As you might expect from the name. Where the laborer only makes enough to pay for cheap boots. Let's say. 50. Ash. Meanwhile the foreman or person in charge, can afford expensive boots. Let's say, 100, ash. The catch is that the, 50 boots only last one season. Whether, 100 boots last many seasons. The poor laborer can never afford the expensive boots. But over any length of time beyond a single season, ends up paying more for boots than anyone, that can afford a better, higher quality pair. Because they are buying boots every season. I always see everything in a dollar store by this metric. Sure it's cheap, and if you only ever intend to use it once or a few times, then that's fine. Anything you need to use more than once, go somewhere else. A good modern example would be pots and pans. Bakker and similar. At a dollar store, even if you get a reusable baking tin, it's likely going to fail, or us or otherwise become unusable long before something that's 10x the cost at while. Mart. Even the wow. Mart tin will likely last hundreds of times longer than the dollar store tin. If you're poor, the best thing you can do for these types of items is to buy them from thrift shops. Anywhere they sell used goods. Buying a nice, but used item will last longer and cost less in the long run than something you buy at the dollar store. But, but dollar stores are immensely successful. Because people are penny wise but pound foolish. Edit. Special thanks to you. Lori, G in the comments for this correction. This is the Captain Samuel Vimes Boots Theory of Socioeconomic Unfairness. Terry Pratchett. Men at Arms Edit 2. The man himself showed up. Or at least someone with his name as their username. Redditor for one year. You. Duke Samuel Vimes. Permalink to comment. Well at my job there are a few people who I'm aware of their salary. They make around. 25k a year after taxes. One of them somehow has a lifted Ford Raptor, that I hear is like. 50k. He recently acquired a motorcycle too. He probably thinks it's cool, but he's likely eating the dirt off his tires, because he can't afford anything else, but those payments and insurance. Multiple cars that don't work. Laundry. The poor don't own the machines. But they pay a lot more overall, to do laundry at laundromats. A low credit score. That crap is so expensive. Bad teeth. 
when you can't afford a dentist visit and let your oral health slide. It can have all sorts of expensive health consequences, such as heart disease. Cigarettes. Expensive as duck in Australia. Crushing high interest credit card debt. Usually quickly preparable food items. They are usually more expensive than if I stuffed a bell pepper with rice and a small amount of minced meat and shoved it with the oven with tomato sauce for example. Simple recipes with low ingredient counts are normally very cheap and delicious. They do however take time to make. Time some people might not have because they have to work in order to finance the time they spend sleeping. Edit. Extra tip. Processing vegetables yourself and vacuum sealing them in liquid stasis lets you store them for ages without having to freeze them, and they can be pulled out at any given time to still your hunger nutritiously. Edit 2. Not quite sure, but I think the English term for it is pickled. Someone in the comments also referred to it as standard canning process. The more you learn. Edit 3. Thanks to you. PM. Me. Uh. Fav. Pullums for pointing this out, and writing this definition. The standard canning process that was mentioned, is the process of putting something in jars, cans, whatever that have been sterilized in boiling water, and filling them to the very brim before sealing them, while they are still hot. This ensures there is no oxygen inside, and that it is sterile to last a long time. This process is often done with pickled things, but can also be done with hot sauces, pasta sauce, Homemade BBQ sauce. Anything liquid or stored in liquid. Hope this helps. Please note that boiling glass is a dangerous process, and any temperature change has to be regulated and slow to prevent the glass from bursting into pieces. Edit 4. Thanks to you. Vokalsk Punk for providing this link to a free cookbook. Downloadable. For cheap food. Also available in Spanish. Edit 5. I'm aware that there are people with conditions and circumstances that won't be helped by any of this, but on the flip side there are people that can make use of this so just as a note, to, I'm aware. Deleted. MLM equipment edit. Bonus points because it makes poor people even poorer. MLM. Multi-level marketing. Loads of stuff. It's expensive being poor for a variety of reasons including having to buy poorer quality goods and needing to replace them more often because of initial cost not being able to bulk buy predatory loans and really anything that puts someone in a you have no other choice position on top of that there are things like cheap food being bad for your health and incurring expensive health bills later in life continuing paying rent on something you'll never own cheap cars that require maintenance more often being poor is expensive af Chrysler 300 Long term. Near constant stress and worry over money. Definitely expensive in terms of physical and mental health. A lot of kids. The poor are often very fruitful. The amount of privates in the army, who have just enough money, to pay for their 30. The interest 2018 Ford Mustangs. But not enough money, to buy literally anything else is pretty ridiculous. Edit. There to their edit too. Thanks for the ignite kind stranger. Funny to me that my highest rated comment is about how stupid privates can be. Designer clothes that explicitly advertise that they are in fact designer. Slaps. It's hood rich and they spend so much more on straps, candy coats and clean up interiors. Looks dope but I don't care for cars that much to own one and I'm not from Houston. Just paying rent. Where I live mortgages one are cheaper than getting a house, but they don't give me a mortgage, because I don't earn enough. So I have to keep renting expensive places making it take even longer for me to save up. And in my situation getting a better paying job is difficult. I swear this world is made for the rich and middle class. Poor people are straight up ducked in every way possible. Lottery tickets. Sure not individually, but over time it must get expensive. Crippling medical debt. In India. Agricultural land. Debt. Spinning rims on cars. Toxic. Unsustainable consumer debt, that they will never be able to repay. No matter how many hours they work. 
payday loans. Deleted.